My name is Dave Welsh. I own Pixie Video Productions. After three meetings with Pat Carroll, this interview ensued. You are known for your comedic ability. In school, were you funny? Were you the class clown? <laughs> well, <laughs> I Funny guess you, you were. should ask that question, because one of the nuns in high school, I was a very shy little girl, very, very I shy. I don't believe that. It is true, David. I wouldn't fib to you. And uh, one of the nuns in, uh, at Immaculate Heart High School, where I went to school, one day I was late for class, and I crawled in on my knees, and she caught me. And she said, Patricia Carroll, you'd do anything to get attention. I thought, well, I guess I should be an actor then. Since you worked with many stars, who would Wasn't you... I lucky? You were. Who would you say was the most fun to do a scene with? Do you have any recollections of really just breaking, uh, breaking down because it was so funny? Yes, and there are many... Uh, stars that I worked with that tickled and delighted me. Danny Thomas was a little minx, but my favorite was Jimmy Durante because I had really? adored him since I was about knee high to a grasshopper. And I got to work with him. Uh, I had done a um, special in New York with Max Liebman, and Jimmy was the guest star. I was so excited, my heart was palpitating. I get to meet Jimmy Durante, I get to work with Jimmy Durante. He was an angel. He was exactly what you see was what you got. The man was extraordinary as a human being. Uh, I would go to lunch with Jimmy, and people were walking off the street because they heard Jimmy Durante was in there. Presidents of corporations, senators, presidents of banks, a guy who was digging a ditch. He covered everybody because they knew this was a piece of honest goods. Jimmy Durante wouldn't lie to you. Jimmy Durante wouldn't be mean to you. He might pronounce some words incorrectly, <laughs> but that yep. was the worst thing he would commit. The man was a gentle man, if there ever was well, you're one. You're giving us a lot of insight. And he made me laugh constantly because time. when he would mispronounce something, Jimmy really did not realize that he had done that. I mean, he wasn't doing it as part of an act. He was doing it because that's the way he was. And he wouldn't realize that he had said that. <laughs> and he just, well, number one, I was so in love with that dear man and the way he worked that to work with him, which I only did once that one time, was a treasure for me. I've never forgotten it. I came home with a big smile on my face every day. That man tickled and delighted. <laughs> you my brother George.
So I brought it to Toscanini, and Toscanini says, Tony's push pot, how does it go? I said, it doesn't go, you have to push it. Ah! Change of pace? Yes. Shall we? Why not? All right, let's rock it! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! In my ballet teacher said I wasn't ready. <laughs> I hope my friends on the east side are not watching. <laughs> Fellas, they've forced this on me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Too much activity for a teenager. <laughs> Let's get back to Durante. Now you know that you can't go wrong. If you start 